after that our dough have rested for uh, at least one time so after that we have you have folded and folded and uh, you have rest your dough for at least one time okay now you can add uh, your salt and your olive oil if you add uh, the salt uh, before you mm, don't have the same result this is from my experience and from my study the salt it kills the yeast you need more yeast when uh, you add the salt from the very very beginning so this is what I'm doing after that uh, my dough have rested I'm gonna add uh, the salt and I am going to add my olive oil and always I've got amazing amazing bread pizza focaccia all the time so now I'm uh, I'm wait the dough and I'm using to add uh, one to two percent of salt one to two percent of the whole weight of the dough is a uh, salt i'm gonna add uh, a touch of water i dissolve the salt i dissolve the salt and uh, i'm gonna uh, knead knead the dough and uh, i'm gonna put all together make all together all the ingredient together and um, it will be very very tasty and the dough will, will be nice and fluffy at the end will be amazing so here I've got here I've got three kilo and a half of dough and I'm gonna I'm gonna add 70 gram of salt are you notice what I'm doing every now and then I'm adding a pinch of flour pinch of flour it helps the dough to absorb the oil and the liquid any liquid you are going to, to add if you are adding tomato sauce because you want to make a tomato bread or if you are adding your um, salt with um, a touch of water inside or if you are adding your olive oil if you every now and then you add a touch a pinch of salt that it will help uh, the dough to to absorb all your liquid and uh, you stretch the dough you mix the dough you add uh, your pinch of flour every now and then and in few minutes in few minutes you have uh, your dough back nice and smooth and and then from here from here you are going to this is what i'm doing i'm going to prove the dough again i'm gonna i'm gonna give re rest for other couple of time at least other couple of time at least and um, from every time i'm waiting one to two hours it depends i need to see it it depends what the temperature is in the room i usually work at, at around 20 degrees in the room but maybe you are in a country that uh, is uh, more warm more hot and your dough need uh, less rest in, uh, in this country where i'm living right now in scotland uh, my room right now is at around 20 degrees and uh, this is what i need i need sometimes one to two hours of rest from um, each uh, need of the dough and uh, is if you follow the the video till the end you are going to see what a beautiful dough is gonna be okay for now i'm done i put back my dough in the bowl with uh, flour and uh, olive oil this will uh, help me to get the dough raised more uh, easily I'm going to spray the water on top and I'm going to cover with clean film. Other bakers, they use wet cloths. I'm using this. I, I spray water and I cover with clean film. And I put back on my, my drawer where it's at 30 degrees, on my cabinet where 
the temperature is uh, at 30 degrees. So for now, is that this is all, and I'm going to do this job for other two, three times.